Half the seats are filled. I think that's as good as it's going to get. I'm joined by my accomplice in prime time, Matthew Richardson. All right, Dennis, today should be a great match. They run on in full confidence. They're looking sharp and the crowd are appreciating it. Gold Coast lifted by the noise of the crowd as they make their way onto the ground. Umpire tosses the coin. Gold Coast kicking with the wind in this opening tour. I can't wait for this match to get underway. I've had sleepless nights dreaming about this clash. Here we go. It's the Suns versus the Demons. He gives the ball away. Barlow is streaming past and gets the footy. The ball is stuck towards goal by Martin. Drifts wide to go through for the behind. Point the difference. Vince assesses his options now. He's just trying to find a loose man in the defensive 50. Jetta clearing it out of defense. Hands like dinner plates. Barlow putting some power behind that one. Lonigan taking aim. A risky proposition from here. He'll need a big kick to make the goals. Took up a goal for Gold Coast. The game officially underway now. The Ruckman steal themselves before the bounce. Here's the bounce. Gorn with a big fist on it. Miller controls it. He gains possession. Has it now. Gorn taps. Collected by Hunt. Thompson knows he needs to hang on to them. Harbrook with a kick out of the pack. Tyson has a great set of hands. Fantastic mark. Tyson will take every opportunity to take a screamer when a step ladder presents itself. He marks the ball. Puts boot to ball. Plenty of space for a very easy mark. Joyce slams the ball to his boot. Gorn kicks it. Hannon with the mark. Kicks it. Gallard claims it. Kicks. Jones takes the mark. Puts boot to bowl. Strong mark there. Rocketed long by Hogan. And the mark will be paid. Stabs the ball. The opposition forgot about him, and he takes the easy mark. Joyce loves to take a scream out, and I think the coach won't mind him having a crack, but as he gets better and better, he'll provide real X-factor for his team. Hibbert puts his boot on it. Jones, handballing to his own advantage. May going for number one. Now that miss could prove costly. The Suns by eight points. He may just play onto himself here. The options are few and far between at the moment. Sends the Sharon on its way. Hunt, the better man there. Choose to kick it. Marked by Jones. Choose to kick it. The mark is taken by Lewis. Slams it on the boot. Stretch, the better man there. Stretch can achieve anything he sets his mind to. The sky is the limit for this guy. Tyson slams the ball to his boot. Thompson with real good use of the body. Tap. Puts boot to ball. The ball is tapped. Thompson gets the loose ball, sending it on its way. Strong mark there. Kicked by Day. The mark is taken by Hanley. Sends the Sharon on its way. Strong mark. Kicks. A great effort. Gold Coast for having shots for goal on the run rather than looking to hit targets inside 50. And why shouldn't they? when they have so many quality kicks in the team. Sending it on its way, Barlow lining up with the goals. He boots it, he takes a strong mark. Sending it on its way, Hibbert marks it. Sends it on its way, Lewis has it. He boots it, 
He grabs it. Takes control of the bouncing ball. The ball is thumped towards goal by Punt. Harbro grabs that one. Harbro, he's got a decent leap on him, but there's still some room for improvement. He claims the ball. The tracker getting into position for the kick. He boots it. Kent takes the mark. 25 metres out. Kent steers the ball towards goal. Melbourne with their first goal on the board. Ruckman awaiting the bounce. And there's the bounce. Gorn knocks it down the field. Controlled by Stretch. Has it now. Off the ground. Kent with the tap. Hannon tries his luck along the ground. Good tap from Swallow. Lucky bounce collected. A good job keeping it in play there. Well, that wouldn't have been my choice. The umpire says deliberate. Hogan making his way onto the field. Lining up the goal now. Now they say this is the impossible angle. Let's see if they can go on with a spin now. That's two in a row for Melbourne. Melbourne on top. The Ruckman conscious of where their teammates are. They wait for the bounce. Born got a really good footballing brain. And now we'll have a ball up. Tap by Gore. Lucky bounce collected. Boots it. He wins the contest. Puts the kick on the win. The contest, no match for him. Hunt, he's pretty good at hangers. He just needs to work on getting some more height if he really wants to master the skill. Kent with the ball. Kent has a kick. Swallow being penalised there. Solo, urged on by the crowd, prepares to kick. 20 metres from home. The Demons lead the Suns 18 to 8. A brief moment of serenity before the ball is bounced and the Ruckman unleash. Hit by Gore. Kicks into the wind. Great mark under pressure. Hannon slams it on the boot. Melchin with the mark. Melchin. He kicks it. Harbro beats the hand pass out. Boots it. Dake has it. Jams it on the boot now. Steady hands there as he holds that one. Trims the grass with that one. Leave it. Got under it. Short pass. And the mark will be paid. Miller puts it on the boot. A great effort. Jams it on the boot now. Let's have a look at the stats. Both teams fairly close in the handball stats. Five to three. Cheers, Richard. A quick break and we're back at it. Set your goals high and don't stop till you get there. Pick up by Gore. Soccer kick. The spilled ball is collected. Tap by Jones. Down goes Hibbert. Hibbert slams it on the boot. Young with an easy mark. Miller onto the ball. Depth touch from Gorn. Hunt takes him down, but the kick is away. Gets boot to leather. The opposition forgot about him, and he takes the easy mark. Steady hands there as he holds that one. Kent will be kicking from, as they would say, downtown. A 45-degree angle for this kick. The dominance we're seeing from Melbourne at the moment has come mostly from their running goals. They just haven't been able to get up to the contest and take a mark inside forward 50. Hogan getting some power behind that one. Hannon with the kick. That's a nice strong mark. 40 metres out. An ideal position to be kicking from. That's a very well executed goal. Melbourne beginning to apply their supremacy on the scoreboard with a lead of 24 to 8. Hogan has a nose for goals. You wouldn't want to bet against him even on the tightest of angles. Tackled but gets the handball off. He gets tackled as he hands it off. Kent with the tap. A desperate kick there. Swallow tries his luck along the ground. Young delivers a nice bump but Gore. Able to grab it on the half volley. Picked up the ball. The spilled ball is collected. He picks up the loose ball. Harbro tries his luck along the ground. Day tries his luck along the ground. Barlow decisively. Stretch picks up the bouncing ball. Kicked in a flurry. Martin picks it up. 
He's got the footy in his hands. Lynch is a first-class decision maker. He appears relatively unhurried when under pressure and constantly finds the best option in heavy traffic. What a great skill. Jetta marks it. Sending it on its way. He picked it up off the ground. Jones knocks it down. Garlic onto the ball. Really quick hands to get the ball out from that tackle. Levick has the football. Into the game comes Gorn. The umpire to ball it up. Young knocks it down the field. Kicks it off the ground. The ball is on the ground and it's picked up by Bala. The ball in the hands of Lewis. He receives the handball. Gallup kicks. Well, he gave it a shot. Abra closes him down. Tapped by Salem. Kicks. Controls. The tracker. Shocks the ball away. The ball is socket. Lyons picks it up. Clean tap by Lyons. Miller with the football. He lays off the pass. Young lays it off to the running man. Stuck the mitts out and held on to it. Martin with the kick. A good mark under the circumstances. Lynch takes aim for goals. Able to grab it on the half volley. That play is as high tech as it can for. May clearly doesn't get enough attention. A nice running mark. Talking to a football doesn't do much good unless you do it while your opponent is lining up. A goal for Gold Coast. The Suns will be trying to kill the momentum of the opposition. Lonergan has a nose for goals. You wouldn't want to bet against him even on the tightest of angles. Well, yes, he is a bully, but he's not a mean bully. He's more a teacher, the kind of guy who'd take your lunch money and invest it for you. Melcham collects it. Hogan finds his man on the move. I don't know if you can see it from back there, but it's a goal. The Demons over. Gold Coast 560. Both Ruckman have their eyes on the ball. And there's the bounce. Rosa leave the pinatas for the kids. Tyson controls it. Hogan has had plenty of it, Richo. He's been outstanding all match then. He's had lots of touches this match. Melbourne could score the last two goals. Melbourne with the ascendancy over the Suns, leading the match 36 to 14. He gains possession. Like the song says, don't you just need someone to show? Great grab. Hunt is good, but he doesn't always find that best option while in congestion. Joyce kicks it. Garlic with a strong mark. He boots it. The mark will be paid. Looking for another goal here. Hogan holds his breath. He's put his all into that, but it won't give him the six points. Melbourne by 23. They may have no option but to kick it long up the middle right here. Kicked by Swallow. That play is as high-tech as it can for. Gallup comes away with the ball. A goal for the Demons. The Demons by 29. The Ruckman steal themselves before the bounce. Great bounce. McDonald leave the pinatas for the kids. Ball up in the center square. Tap by Rosa. Scoops up the ball. Gets the kick off as he's taken down by Martin. Ainsworth. Gets the upper hand. Gets boot to high. Strong mark. Harms setting up the play. Sends it. Out of the defensive 50. Good mark on the run. Martin really wears his heart on his sleeve. A good contested mark there. He boots it. Lonergan with real good use of the body. Lonergan kicks for goal. Lonergan, you beauty. The Suns are in real trouble now. The Ruckman steal themselves before the bounce. Here we go. Clean tap by McDonald. Joyce butts. Rosa feeds it wide. Nice contested mark by Lynch. Kicks into the wind. Has he? Yes, he's paid it. Sends the ball inside his attacking 50. He steadies now in front of goal. 40 meters from home. A set shot on a 45 degree angle. Mate just squeezes it over the line. That's his force. They're having a run for the lead now. May is a first class decision maker. He appears relatively unhurried when under pressure and constantly finds the best option in heavy traffic. What a great skill. Getting a helping hand from the wind with that kick. Gallant wastes no time and bangs it forward. He steadies now in front of goal. A monster kick will be required from here. Salem takes a shot. 
Salem. With a massive goal, this kick puts them further into the lead. The Demons with a healthy gap on the scoreboard, leading Gold Coast 49 to 26. The Rucks can't complain about that true bounce. Throws it with a big fist on it. Time to check the stats, Richo. The huge difference in score is not reflecting minuscule difference in stats. Melbourne were just making it count at the right times. Thanks, Richo. It's half time, which means the players have had a good break. They should be ready to bring this game home. Make sure your worst enemy doesn't live between your own two ears. He soccers it. Soccer kick. It bounced straight into his hands as if he'd just called a puppy with a whistle. Hunt puts the ball in the hands of fate. Head down now as he goes in for the goal. 40 metres out for Tracker with a 45 degree angle in front of him. Good tap from Thompson. Tapped by Kent. Salem gets the tap and the ball crosses over the boundary. Melbourne sending out Lewis. Look at the big eaters. They're doing their exercise now as this ball comes into play. Lemons gets the tap. Tapped by Joyce. Lucky bounce collected. McDonald goes back to collect the ball. A free kick and several ticks. Joyce claims it. Sends it on its way. Taken by Young. Bumps the big skin. The ball bounced to the advantage of the opposition. Good tap from Viney. Sends the Sharon on its way. McDonald with the tap. That kick held up in the wind. Swallow lobs the pass. Puts the head down as he runs in. Petraka has his head down now. Melbourne get the scoreboard ticking over with that goal. This kick has extended their lead. The Rucks prepare to go at it for this bounce. Here's the bounce. Young without a touch. The clearance by McDonald. He has the ball. Miller aims for his man on the ground. Well, yes, he is a bully, but he's not a mean bully. He's more a teacher, the kind of guy who'd take your lunch money and invest it for you. Jams it on the boot now. Leave it, wins the marking contest. Sends it on its way. Nice mark there. Spears a low ball. Great mark under pressure. Jams it on the boot now. And the mark will be paid. Hannon is creative with his game. He always makes an appearance on the highlight reel. Kent knocks it down. Sending it on its way. Sending it on its way. Harbrook with a strong mark. Sending it on its way. Kept his composure then. Gone a long way out. Kicks to the attacking 50. Ball crosses the boundary. The umpire's throw is a good one. Definitely palmed to advantage. Tapped by Lions. Deft touch from Young. Kicked by Cabra. Stretch. Takes it well. Chips it down towards half forward. Solid as a rock and he comes away with a lovely contested mark. Ballard claims the ball. Not a pretty drop punt, but it gets away okay. Chips it down towards half forward. Stuck the mitts out and held on to it. Levin picks it. Marks. Martin gets a less than pretty drop punt away. Going for goal number two. Mate watching with anticipation. Danger signs for Gold Coast. May. He's got a few tricks up his sleeve. So defenders will have to be on their game. The bounce. Definitely palmed to advantage. Hogan just got cleaned up and sent back to Neverland. Having a big day going for goal number four. Batted down nicely by Pabra. Salem with the ball. Thompson is streaming past and gets the footy. A favourable bounce. Lining up the goal now. 50 metres out. Goes up the line. Joyce claims the ball. Getting a helping hand from the wind with that kick. Boots it. Stuck the mitts out and held on to it. The ball spills to Lyons. Nice interception. Gets a handball away. Young right in the path of Lever. He's running hot, Richard. Yes, he's giving 100% right now. Yet another possession. Gorn taken high and he'll get the free kick. Sends it on its way. Wins the handball. Melksham doesn't have the strongest marking hands in the league, but he's certainly very, very handy on the league. Hannon goes for home. Score for Melbourne. It's Melbourne with the lead over Gold Coast. The Ruckman giving each other the ice-cold killer stare-downs as they wait for the bounce. Joyce on the ball at the moment. Superb handball. Strong mark. 
Jams it on the boot now. Melcham has a great set of hands. Fantastic mark. Has he? Yes, he's paid it. Low kick. I guess it was worth a go. Barlow with the pass. Now he wants it back. Bumps the pigskin. Marks. Throws it with the kick. A nice uncontested mark for Martin. Martin. He's a great overhead mark, but anything below his knees and he struggles to get down for. If he can add that to his game, it's going to go up another level. Lonigan with a point. Vince will take his time. He doesn't want to see it turn over and come back straight over his head. Slams it on the boot. Leave it looking a real threat out there when he pulls in contested marks like that one. A rush kick. Nice mark there. Gets boot to leather. Wins the hardball. Looks like he panicked there. He takes control of the loose ball. Collar Jasny with the mighty fist. He gathers the loose ball. Hunt picks it up. Rosen unable to hold on. Penetrating hand pass. Kintz dumps the ball for goal. Kintz manages to sneak it through. The Demons with the upper hand in this match. And it shows on the scoreboard, leading 67 to 33. The Rucks can't complain about that true bounce. Rosen wasn't even close to that tap. And he'd be crazy to think that type of effort will win anytime soon. Tapped by Lynch with the quick hands. They can't seem to maintain possession. They simply handed it over. A monster of a kick gets home. Chalk it up six points. Newer, obviously not bothered by the pressure, sinks that needed goal. The Rucks prepare to go at it for this bounce. The bounce straight down. Gorn with the tap. Good tap from Melchim. Let's see with the stats how both teams performed. Both teams fairly close in the handball stats, 32 to 31. Both teams are sitting fairly even on the ball. The players are starting to feel the strain of the first three quarters now. It's not whether you get knocked down, it's whether you get up. Lewis with the football, Young with the torpedo. Oh, you can really tell he loves taking a contested mark. Hands like dinner plates. Goes by hand. He gets tackled as he hands it off. Gets the ball free. Back from Joyce. The wind helping that kick. Martin decisively. Goes by hand. Hines. Cool under pressure. Releases in time. Takes possession. Ainsworth. Cool under pressure. Releases in time. Well, the margin's big, but there's lots of time left on the clock. Melbourne just seem to hit every target with their disposal. They're just incredibly efficient in this match. A good contested mark there. Martin slams the ball to his boot. He steadies now in front of goal. May with the shot. Hines controls it. Bones just stopping for a quick dance. There'll be a ball up close to goal. Gorn gets the tap. Guided down nicely by Hibbert. The wind helping that kick. Young puts his head down and runs in. Jones threading the needle right there. Jones guides it. The spill ball is collected. Guided down nicely by Barlow. Ainsworth just manages to sink it. The Suns have scored the last two goals. They could close the deal if they keep up the momentum. Ainsworth is good on both left and right, so kicking off either side is just not an issue for him. Collar Jasny with the tap. The ball picked up. Hunt lobs the pass. Tap by Hanley. Gathers the ball. Dumped by Kent. Salem with the mighty fist. Thompson taps. Abra with the handball out of the pack. He picks it up. The ball's come out of the pack like a chocolate bar from a slot machine. Collar Jasny got under it. Collar Jasmine sends one up towards the wing. Ballard from behind picks it. I guess it was worth a go. Go on dodging for no reason at all. Nicely intercepted by Miller. Handball short. A low stabbing kick. It was all his. He'll need a long range boomer from here. The ball is hammered towards goal by Martin. Lonigan knocks the ball loose with a big tackle. Jedek with the kick. Grabs the footy. Going for goal number one. 
Vince gets the upper hand. Vince would have to be one of the most consistent performers in the competition. He's the type of player every coach loves to have in his side. Hibbert slams the ball to his boot. Viney takes a contested mark. Young takes a contested mark. Sending it on its way. Strong mark there. Picked by Bainsworth. Solid as a rock and he comes away with a lovely contested mark. Plays it across half back. Nice mark there. Martin with a gigantic kick. Strong mark by Lever. He pumped that one. Marked by Gallup. Melbourne for having shots for goal on the run rather than looking to hit targets inside 50. And why shouldn't they when they have so many quality kicks in the team? Big steadies now in front of goal. Hogan slams the ball to his boot. Kent lining up with the goals. He's getting accustomed to kicking goals. Miss for behind. Melbourne in front. Swallow assesses his options now. He's just trying to find a loose man in the defensive 50. Picked by Cabra. Boots it. Kicks hurriedly. Hunt goes back to collect the ball. A free kick and several ticks. Going for goal number one. Goal. The Demons with the upper hand in this match, and it shows on the scoreboard, leading 74 to 46. Gorn nicely outclassing Day, with the ball now. The mark is taken by Hibbert, slams it on the boot. Got his eye on the ball all the way and took the mark well. Gets a handball away towards the man on the run. Hunt tries his luck along the ground. Tapped by Hogan. Thompson controls it. Is in his possession. Batted down nicely by Hanley. Clean hands with a difficult bouncing ball. I don't know if you can see it from back there, but it's a goal. Melbourne could score the last two goals. That could be the final nail in the coffin. Gorn can really set the tone of the game with his rough work. He just always gives his team first use of the ball. Miller with the kick. Great move to be able to work into an uncontested position. May has a kick. Genick collects it. He shows the quick hand. Lonigan needs to sink this one. They're going to start swinging like a 70s disco to get anywhere near from here. Here's the bounce. Gorn taps it. Takes control of the bouncing ball. Rosa kicks. Kola Jasny with the mark. Chips it down towards half forward. Takes control of the bouncing ball. The ball in the hands of Viney. The opposition forgot about him, and he takes the easy mark. The Melbourne big men are not pulling down many marks inside the 50, with most of the Melbourne scoring opportunities coming from shots on the run. He slams that on the boot. Kept his composure then. Hanley sends one up towards the wing. Vince over the top. Gets boot to high. Solid as a rock, and he comes away with a lovely contested mark. And the mark will be paid. Sends the Sharon on its way. He has to hold on to those. The bigger the shove, the bigger the love. Not a pretty drop pump, but it gets away okay. 40 meters out. A 30 degree kick for Cross. Off by a matter of centimeters. Real disappointment for fans of Gold Coast. Winners all across the park for Melbourne. You achieve that and you win the match. A great team performance, highlighted by their ability to win the ball and most importantly use it. Final scores are 81 to 52. Well, that's it. I'll let Richo say the goodbyes. It's been my pleasure, Dennis. We look forward to having everyone back soon.